Pick up bricks. Are both sides ready? Ready for the people, Your Honor. Ready for the defense, Your Honor. Will the clerk please swear in the jury? Will the jury please stand, raise your right hand. Do each of you promise that you will fairly try this case before the court and that you will return a true decision according to the evidence and instructions of the court? So help you God, please say I do. I do. You may be seated. May it please your court to honor. My name is Andy Gomez, counsel for the prosecutors in this prosecutor for Brick Pig in this action. The evidence will show that Brick Pig is, is guilty. The facts will show that he helped cause the legal destruction of property. May it please the court, your honor, counsel. My name is Marissa Bolaños, counsel for Mr. Jr. in this action. The evidence will show that my client, Mr. Jr., is not guilty. The facts will the, the facts will show that Mrs. Wolf should be blamed for and for the destruction of property. The defense may call as first witness. The people call Nick Pelt to the stand. <coughs> Please stand. Raise your right hand. Do you promise that the testimony you shall give in this case before the court shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God. Please state your first and last name. You being seated. Where were you on May 25th around 1 p.m.? What did you see when you left your house? What did you do after you saw this? Thank you, I have no further questions. Does the district attorney have any questions? Yes. Did you see any argument with or with the wolf and the pigs? Yes. What was it? Anything else besides the argument? Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I am now going to read you the law that you must follow in deciding this case. If each of you believes that the district attorney proved their case, then you should find the defendant guilty. But if you believe the district attorney did not prove any one of these things, then you must find the defendant not guilty. We are ready for the final argument. The jury court. For I see here from the questions I asked ask the witness that the witness should not feel we believe in this case. For one, he said nothing else happened. Um, the witness's story, it, I'll read what it said. Then he started throwing rocks at, at his house. After he painted, I hate pigs. Then he went to the stick house. They held and blew the house with down and ate the pigs. For this, he said nothing else happened. And he said, but he did say that he had an argument on, the, on the, his grandmother. But still, he was lying at the point. And also from the pig's story, it, the, it said nothing about there being, it says here nothing about how, how the wolf threw rocks or painted eye pig on the side of the wall, which also, it didn't say anything about, about Junior there. Insulting in both grandmother, so he could he could have been lying back. And also here is he has a few times two fists and dummy for his brothers, which could be meant to believe that 
he didn't like his brother. So he could have made a deal with the wolf to blow down his other brother's house for his house. So it wouldn't get destroyed in the cause. And he is usually is mostly the oldest out of them all. So usually as I know from my from my side, most older brothers will make the younger swallow. So for this he tricked them into building them out of like wheat materials for the house. So you should so jury find should you find the <coughs> junior over here guilty or not guilty? Choose why. Well the prosecutor had said was also not true. In this story that he made, it said that one day three pigs wanted to build houses. And we all know that in the real story, if they didn't want to, they had a kick they were kicked out or they their owners had to move and they were they were they had to build houses. It's not because they wanted to, it's because they had to. And also how can my client know that the wolf was there and um, until he he knew until he had the wolf had blown the other houses down. So that's another flaw. It says here that um, my client had agreed with his brothers to um, cook the wolf alive, and that is not true. Um, they were just cooking something to eat, and then it was the wolf's mistake to to invade his property and fall down that chimney and get uh, and get hurt in the plot. Now, jury, I ask you, do you not make mistakes? Do you, are you blamed for something that you didn't do? That's what he's being, that's what he's being blamed for. Thank you for your time, jury. Thank you for your time, Your Honor. Our case. Will the jury please stand? Do you have a verdict? Please show your verdict. The jury finds the defendant not guilty. The jury is faith and excused. Court is adjourned. Welcome to our classroom. Today we'll present a court case using what we learned about point of view, persuasive writing, and public speaking. Thank you for coming. Enjoy. All right, scores now in session. Judge Enrique, okay. guilty and to prove that the witness's story of the, has a special relationship to the straw pig, maybe his friend, and lying to keep him from taking the blame.
the defense of all the first witness. I like to call Patty the Dog the Stand. Please stand. Raise your right hand. Do you promise that the testimony you shall give in the case and before this court shall be the truth? The whole truth and nothing but the truth. So I hope you have to me. Please state your first and last name. Eddie Bob. You may be seated. Where were you on the day of question? On your new Do you recognize this job? Is it true that you said the straw pig that state wouldn't give him the necessary materials to build himself a real house? Is it true that when the straw pig's house got blown down, he ran to his other brother's houses? And finally, is it true? that okay is it also true that you said you were friends with mr shaw yeah. yeah. well on here it says on the witnesses report and you are the witness unless you didn't like this of course while i was going to my friend's house it never says that he was your friend. It says that you are his friend. Thank you. No further questions. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I am now going to the law that you must follow in deciding this case. If each of you believe that the district attorney proved their case, then you should find the defendant guilty. If you if you, if you believe that the district attorney did not prove any one of the evidence, then you must find the defendant not guilty. We are ready for the final argument. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you are all here to see if the defense here, the defendant here, is has to, is the problem for destruction of property. Well, the witness has given me this information in their witness story, and the questions that I asked only led to the revealing answer. The witness said that she was friends with the straw pig at first. She said that she was, but that was a lie, and here it says she is. Well, if a friend is in trouble here, Mr. Shropig, wouldn't you want to save it? For example, your best friend, your mom and dad, a friend, a relative, you would want to save them because you don't want them to go somewhere bad like prison, jail, or make them be in trouble. You would like them to be, have a happy life, wouldn't you? You would all want them to have a good life. You don't want them to be in any trouble. You don't want them to have to pay for anything. You don't want them to have stress, because that makes them worried, and that doesn't make them happy. Well, I'm thinking that the witness here felt that way 
for the straw pig. And she is trying to make the witness here and the defendant here, straw pig, seem innocent. Because she said that the straw pig didn't have the necessary materials to make his own house. That in his house was made out of straw. But how could have she gotten that information? How would have she known that the straw pig didn't have any materials for the state? She didn't know that because the straw pig couldn't have told her because he was busy getting chased by the wolf. Also, the state didn't give her that information because as you see, she's the witness and we're trying to prove the defendant guilty. Also, he might, the straw pig might not be guilty for destruction of property, but he is the one who led the wolf to destroy the other houses. As the wolf was chasing the straw pig, isn't it true, you all know, the straw pig ran to the stick house, correct? Then when the stick house got blown down, he ran to the brick house where the wolf was stopped. But instead, he could have ran somewhere else, like for the police, to help him. But instead, he made his brother's houses get blown down by the wolf. Isn't it true? Instead of running away to the police and taking him to court, instead you have he has gotten all his brothers, straw pig, and brick pig all in trouble. It could have just been him and the wolf. But instead, he led the wolf to his brothers and got them in the risk of death, too. They could have gotten killed. They're lucky to be here today. So, in conclusion, I am saying that the witness made up this witness report to save the defendant, the straw pig, from getting in trouble. Because like you all said, you would want to save somebody who is close to you from anything bad. And I'm saying that he, the straw pig, also led the wolf to blow down uh, other houses and risked his other brother's lives to death. They're lucky to be here today. So all I'm saying is on your cards, there's two sides, or there should be. Guilty and not guilty. And I'm saying that you must say with your heart, what is the right choice? Guilty, that the witness lied about her story to get him to say it, and he also led the wolf to destroy their houses. Not on purpose, but he still led the wolf there. They wouldn't have been involved if he just ran away. He could have saved them with the police's help. Or, not guilty, and let the straw pig roam free into the streets of the world while responsible for the wolf blowing down the other people's houses, or his brother's houses. Thank you, Jerry, for your time. Thank you, Your Honor, for your time. That is all. I rest my case. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, today you have heard the testimony from both parties, and I have given you evidence that proves that Mrs. Wolf is hereby guilty without a doubt. In addition to all the evidence I have shown you, I have pop prints from Mrs. Wolf.
Mr. Pig was eating potato chips around the time Mrs. Wolf knocked on the door. So I asked her, how else would Mrs. Wolf pop his feet on this bag if she wasn't there? Please remember that we're here to discuss illegal house destruction. And in this property law book, You see, section 2.5, page 6, clearly states that destroying a property without permission from an owner or estate is illegal. Ladies and gentlemen, this was no accident. It was a crime. Thank you. And I rest my case. For the jury, please stand. Please show your verdict. Fernandez, and my information that I show you today will prove that the defendant's client, Mrs. Wolf, is guilty, and that their their statements are lies. May it please jury members of members of jury counsel, Ron, I am here to prove that prosecutor Alex is a liar. In his version of the story, he kept calling my client, Mrs. Wolf, a he. But as you can see here, it's a girl. Probably because he was lying. 
section. First time. My name is David, and I'm here to prove that my claim is just innocent. The defense may call a witness here. I'll call a witness Sweet Bob. Saul from asking the witness the questions, he did not. He stated that he hesitated to answer my questions, and he said that he did not watch the whole thing unveil. And he said that he did not write the statement. He didn't answer my questions, which proves that he is lying in his witness statement because if he truly was there and saw everything happen, he, he could answer my questions clearly and not with any hesitation. And in there, in the story, it says that the, that the brick pig had built his house on the wolf's friend's property. But then he he wanted to come in and discuss about the property. But he's not allowed to discuss about the property since it's not his, so it's not his friend. Miss, Mrs. Wolf might not have blown one the pig one of the pig's homes down, but she was the cause of the pig running into the home and destroying it. The pig did not have a permit for building his or her home on the property, but the sticks, the straws, or the bricks were the pig's property. So technically, it was the property and now it's destroyed. And before I wrote my point, of, the third person point of view story for the wolf, I was never informed that the person being defended, Mrs. Wolf, was a missus. That's why I say that the defendant is trying, 
is trying to cheat and not tell me all of the information and trying to get me to sit the wrong information for his so that he can win the case. In the wolf's perspective, his friend was never there. But his friend, the witness, said that he was there. That is my evidence saying that the witness is lying. Because if he was there, then the wolf would have said it, then Mrs. Wolf would have said it in her story. And if the witness was actually there, the witness would have said the whole entire story in the witness report. And also in the story, it says that Mrs. Wolf is friends with pig number one. But if Mrs. Wolf was friends with pig number one, pig number one would have let her in her house. Which I can conclude from that evidence that the pig just wanted to get inside pig number one's house to either destroy stuff or eat the pig. And the wolf is lying in that statement also, as he says that they're friends and they're really not. Which puts the witness, Snoop Dogg, in just as much trouble as the wolf. For lying and also hesitating to give me answers when I asked him. Also, from the eyewitnesses, the pigs, they saw the wolf destroying properties and forcing them into hiding. The wolf is a awful, is awful in my opinion. Because he made people of our state go without homes and force them into hiding, which I feel is not right. Now I ask the jury, which side are you on? The side of right or the side of wrong? This is the evidence why I call Mr. Wolf and Mr. Snoop Snoop Dogg are lying and are guilty. I respect you. So, Prosecutor Alex here did not read the story carefully and just simply jumped to conclusions just reading a simple point. Mr. Snoop Dogg here was not at the crime scene. He just simply saw the wolf at the brick house. That is all he saw. He didn't say anything else besides that. So that is all he had talking. And if you do not have enough, if he did not have enough evidence to write his story and just came up with conclusions, will that prove your, his story is wrong? You need evidence. To make a story. He simply came up with conclusions and said, Oh, I'm just gonna write this down on paper to make myself look good. The client is a she, not a he. In his story, he said that the wolf ate the pig. But now he's saying that the wolf ran away. Did he change it the first time because he was lying? Because he jumped to conclusions. The first time. The prosecutor here did not have enough evidence to prove that he was right. And he's not right. He came here with no evidence. My client is a she, not a he. The wolves weren't aided. He ran away. All things he changed in his story. To make himself look good. To make us look guilty. I rest my case. I tell you, jury, members of the jury, to pick truth, not lies. I rest my case. Will the jury please stand?
Today, we will present a court case using what we learned about point of view, persuasive writing, and public speaking. Thank you for coming. Enjoy. All wise courts now assess the judge. Will the clerk please swear in the jury? Will the jury please stand and raise your right hand? Raise your right hand. Do you, you hand. promise that you will fairly try the case before the court, this court and that you will return a true decision according to the evidence and the instruction of the court? So help you out, please say I do. You may be seated. May I please the court, Your Honor, Counsel? My name is Gazal Habib, Counsel, Counsel for uh, Riley Matthews in this action. The evidence will indicate that my client is innocent. Facts will show that my prosecutor is lying. <coughs> the defense will <coughs> well express with the people call the bird to the stand. Raise your right hand. Do you promise that the testimony you shall give in the case of this court shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God. Mm -hmm. I do. Please state your first and last name. I mean, you may be seated. Did you see the um, pig running to the woods when the wolf was going to the house down? Yes. Did, you, did she try to harm the wolf? No. Did you saw the wolf with her hands? No. Thank you. I have no further questions. Was the district. Does the district authority have any questions? Did the wolf visit in your story? Did the wolf visit the state house first? Because in the story, it says that you saw him trash the wolf trash talking to the pig. Was that true? Are 
Maybe it's good to use a law. I'm not going to need to use a law. But we must follow it in deciding the case. If each of you believe that the district attorney proved their case, then you should find the defendant guilty. If you believe that the district attorney did not prove any of one of these things, then you must find the defendant not guilty. We are ready for the final argument. Thank you. 